What's up guys, I'm your real Soto and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to make a header on Elementor. Now let's head over to our dashboard here. Now the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have our menu set up. So go to appearance and click on menus. And then here, as you can tell, I already have mine set up, but just in case you don't, you can go ahead and create your pages and then you should have all your pages in here and just select any of your pages that you want to add on here and then just click on add to menu and there you have it i already have my menu set up so i'm going to go ahead and just remove these pages here and you can easily just organize them just by dragging and dropping and then just go ahead and click save and your menu is pretty much set up so from here we're going to go ahead and need two plugins so go to your plugins and you're gonna need a plugin called Elementor Header, Footer, and Blocks. I'm not really gonna go through the installing process. I assume a lot of you guys already know how to install a plugin, but this is how it looks like. Just go ahead and search for it and you'll be able to find that. And then the second plugin that you're gonna wanna use is called Elements Kits Lite. And you'll be able to easily find that one. So just search up Elements Kits and you'll find that. So just go ahead and install those two plugins there, the header, the header footer blocks, and the uh, elements kit light. So once you have those two installed, you're gonna go ahead and go to appearance and click on header footer and blocks. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a footer. So here at the top, uh, you're gonna wanna click on add new. Now we're just gonna wanna name our, hood, our uh, header here. We're gonna call this header. And then go ahead and click on publish. And then click on edit with Elementor. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on this icon here, the one at the far right. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're gonna go into headers. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this template here. I'm gonna go ahead and click insert. Now we're just gonna go ahead and change the background color of this section here. So go ahead and click on the section, go to style. And then here we have the background type and the color. Make sure that your uh, paintbrush is selected. Now go ahead and click on the color there. And we're gonna make this gray instead of blue. So we'll make this a gray color, or you can go ahead and make this black, that's up to you. Now the text here, we're gonna go ahead and click on this. And then I'm just gonna start changing these. I'm gonna maybe add a different number. You guys can go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just gonna put a random number here. There we have it. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And I'm gonna add a different email here. And then you guys can add a, a different address, but I'm gonna leave this as is. I think you guys kind of get the gist of it. I'm gonna leave that how it is. And in order to add social links on here, just go ahead and click on this section here, and then you can go ahead and open it up you can even choose a different icon, which you can search for any, any social media icon in, in here. And then you can go down here and add your profile link. You can also change the color as well. So we can change it to any color that we want here. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as a color, as a color um, that we already have set up. So I accidentally went back there. So I'm just gonna go to my history and I'm gonna go right back to where I was. And I'm gonna click on this icon. Click on this icon box here. I'm gonna go back to Facebook because I accidentally um, chose a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose, I'm gonna actually choose this color here actually. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one, Twitter, I'm just gonna leave LinkedIn. I'm gonna go ahead and click down here. I'm gonna change it, change that color. And I'm gonna change this color. I don't have any profile links to add, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and change this logo. So I'm going to click on the logo here. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and click on this box. And I'm going to go ahead and choose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose this icon here. That's fine. Not really my uh, logo, but that, that will work for now. And I'm going to leave that as is. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this color on this button. So I'm going to click on this button here. I'm going to probably add a link. So you can just, I'm going to probably link maybe my contact page. I'm going to type in contact. And I'm going to go ahead and type in contact us. I'm going to go style. I want to change this color probably to a blue. Fine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and leave this search bar. It's looking good. I'm just gonna change the color of the icon to blue. There we go. Now that looks great. Now I'm gonna remove this menu. And I'm gonna add a different menu. Now I'm gonna search for just type in nav. And then you go ahead and see this one called navigation menu. And this one is actually bar by our um, header footer um, plugin. So go ahead and grab that and just drag it in here. Now we just want to move this to the right. So go to layout. Sorry, uh, make sure that you have your menu selected. So just go ahead and click on here and select your menu. Now go to layout. Now where it says alignment, go ahead and switch this to the right. And I'm going to leave these menu icons. Those are fine for the mobile version. We might change those up later on. But right now we're just focusing on the desktop version. So I want to change the color of this text, maybe to black. So let's go to style here. And then let's go to text color. Go ahead and make this black. And then let's go ahead and add a hover effect. I want the hover effect to be blue. And I want the active to be blue. So when people are when people are on a certain page, they're gonna know that that they're on that specific page because it's gonna be highlighted in blue. That's basically what active means. And then I'm gonna go in typography and I'm gonna make everything uppercase. So I'm gonna go to transform. I'm gonna click on uppercase. And then I'm gonna adjust the sizing of this. I'm gonna leave this as I think this should be good right there. And you are also able to edit the, uh, the spacing. So we have the spacing in between. Now we can just move that around. But I think a good size is probably this size here. Okay. So now, now we have our um, sub menu here. Now my sub menu, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this, but I think it looks great how it is. Let me zoom out. I'm gonna go to drop down. Now we have a background color for our, for our drop down here. It's set to white and I think that's great. But if you did want to choose a different color, you can set that to black as well. Um, and if it's not changing black, let's see here. I might have to just adjust this a little more. Let's see. Now it should, there we go. Now it's switched to black there. So sometimes you just got to move this around, but I'm going to leave this at white and I'm going to leave the text color to black. Okay. That works perfectly. And everything set up there. Okay, now that's looking great. Let's go ahead and update this. And let's take a look how this how this uh, looks on our website. Go to the home page. Now you will notice that it's not on your home page yet, and that's because we haven't set it to our header. So let's go to the dashboard. Click on exit to dashboard. Go to your header. Now over here where it says type of template, go ahead and choose header. And then we want this on the entire website, but you are able to do a specific page as well. So you can click on specific page and you can just type in your page. Maybe it's about us page, whatever that may be. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and choose the entire website. And I'm going to go ahead and click update. I'm going to go and visit my site. Now you know, but now you will notice that we have our header here, but it's probably not going to be mobile optimized. And if it is, it's probably not going to look the best. So let's go ahead and edit our header again. So go into your header. 
and let's view this in the tablet version. So go ahead and click on this screen icon here at the, the bottom left. Go to tablet. Now it's obviously not set up how we want it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make this column here a little smaller. So I'm gonna shrink the column width by to about 20. Maybe even 10. Okay, that works. Now I'm gonna shift this over. But I think what I can do, I can possibly have the entire menu fit on tablet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my menu here. I'm gonna go to layout and then I want this hamburger um, icon to show up only on mobile, not on tablet. So I'm gonna go on mobile only. Now, as you can tell, we have our menu here. Now let's see if it fits here. Now let's go ahead and click on our column. Now let's extend this. Let's see if it will fit. Now it looks like it might fit. Go ahead and click on the, on, the, on the menu here. Go to style and let's just go ahead and adjust the spacing. This is probably the best spacing that we can do. Let's go ahead and shrink our column here. Maybe to about so this size will work. And then let's go ahead and shrink this button. It doesn't look like it's going to fit. So I'm going to actually make this column a little smaller. And make this one a little smaller as well. Okay. And I'm going to make this text maybe a little smaller. About this size. Make this column smaller here. There we go. That is perfect. Now we just want to give some spacing to our um, search bar. So go ahead and click on that column. And then on the column width, go ahead and just move it up. And I'm going to move it up to about eight. As you can tell, that's set up. That looks perfect. And our um, our bar here doesn't look too bad either. So I'm going to leave that how it is now. now I'm going to go ahead and just fix the tablet version. Sorry, the mobile version. So go ahead and click on this uh, screen here, the bottom left, and then click on mobile. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on style here. And then the alignment, I'm going to move it to the center. So and it looks like our social icons are already set to the center. So that's perfect. All right, it's looking good. Our logo is looking fine as well. But I just want to adjust the column here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this column. And then I'm just going to shrink the column. I'm going to bring it down. Right to about, um, let's see, a little, a little more to about 20. Then I'm going to go ahead and actually shrink um, the button column as well. But now I need to expand it so it could completely fit. I think that's perfect there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my menu column. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to expand it here a bit. Let's see. So it looks like it's going to be about, about 25. That works perfectly. Now you don't really have to have the button. If you don't want to have the button, you can go ahead and click on this, on this button column. Go to advance, go to responsive, and hide on mobile. There we go. Now let's see how this looks like. Now we would just have to expand this one. So go ahead and click on your um on your menu column, and then just go ahead and expand the column width, maybe to about this size, and then click on your click on your menu here. Go to content. Go to layout, and then here where it says alignment switch it to the to the right now let's go ahead and maybe shrink our column here a bit because our um, search bar isn't fitting in here so let's go to advance sorry go to layout and then just go ahead and shrink um, your column width there we go and there we have it that's how you can set that up let's go ahead and adjust our um our menu here so Click on your menu, go into, now if you did want to switch up the icon there, you can go ahead and uh, click on your menu icon, and you can choose any of these icons here, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the default icon, and for the close icon, which the one you see here, whenever you click on it, you see that this will end up 
you'll end up seeing this icon here. Now you can go to switch that just by clicking on the icon and you can just go ahead and search for any icon that you may want to use. But I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Now I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to uh, menu trigger and close. And I'm going to go ahead and click this and I'm going to expand our icon size. I can make it about this side here. And then I can make out a background. So I'm going to add a blue background. Then I'm going to add my main color white. Okay, so now that's looking great. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go into um, drop down. And let's go ahead and see if I can maybe add some uh, drop down with. Okay, let's see, let me click on this. I want to go ahead and and add some distance between. Okay, that's perfect there. Fine. Okay, now we can also do a vertical as well. I think that's looking great. And just a vertical padding. And add some top distance so we can bring this down a bit. So it's not really, not really just um, blocking our logo there. We can probably bring it down to about right here. Okay, that's perfect. Now we can also change the background if we wanted to change that maybe to red, maybe to even blue, and then have it white. Have a white color for the text. We can do that as well. I'm going to view that. Well, that's just something optional there. When people click on here, they can easily get to our um, our sub menus as well. That's basically set up perfectly. That's how I would set that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and click update. I'm going to view this now. I'm going to go to the home page. Uh, it's looking great. I'm going to go ahead and just inst inspect this and make sure that it's all mobile optimized. That's perfect. And that's also looking good as well. So it looks like everything is set up just the way I wanted it. So I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, pretty simple. I know that I do have quite a bit of tutorials going over the header. And um, I know that some of you probably did get confused with the other ones. But I just wanted to make a really simplified header tutorial for you. And if this video did help you guys out and you guys actually did um, get something out of it, feel free to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.